So, friends, we're here because we're supposed to um, talk about what inspiration we get from the place that we call home. And since we all live in Ontario, uh, that's what we're going to talk about. Do you want to start, Brenna? <laughs> I guess I'm starting. <laughs> Um, well, you know, we're, we're in Ontario, we're also in Toronto, and uh, wow, this is such a rich and diverse city to, to find ourselves in, in so many ways, and I think one of the great richnesses for us, anyway, was that we were going to school and learning about these musics and cultures in school, and then to kind of close the book and then go out into the real world and find these musics happening in communities, so being mm -hmm. able to be exposed to Persian music, to South Indian music, um, Macedonian music, all these things were, were there around us in this, this really sort of beautiful way. So it, it, it took things from just being something on a page into being a real wonderful lived experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in fact, and you know, the three of, three of us over here, um, having come from U of T, uh, one of the th great things for me was um, we actually sort of took it off the page, as it were, within the school. That was the first year we started the folk music ensemble, and mm -hmm. we were all partaking in that. And um, also around that time, there were the, the those great festivals that were just starting, like WOMAD, right, coming to uh, Harbor Front. Um, I'm not even sure how many years that lasted, but there was, I think it was only a few years, right, WOMAD would come back. Um, but... Um, Thanks to Derek Andrews, who's mm -hmm. obviously remained in our lives as a presenter for until now, um, it sort of took on that project and made it uh, made it made it into a Toronto project, right? So there was that. I mean, when you think about the explosion now of all the festivals that uh, we have been lucky to play in, like right across Ontario, so. I can't even remember. I can remember a handful. Like Sunfest, we've been many times. Yes. Oh, Sunfest. Yeah. Sunfest. Shelter yeah. Valley. National Arts Center. Blue Skies. Blue Skies. <laughs> Blue Skies, yeah. Um, Summer Folk. Chamber Summer Fest. Folk. Chamber Mill Fest. Race. Mill Race. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's a credit to, I mean, obviously the funding that went into these festivals that allowed them to, uh, to hire uh, bands and artists from all over the world but also credit to those early presenters like uh, Derek, like Alan Davis, and Music Gallery back in the 80s. For me personally, it was a, an experience of, of being in a group, with the early group that we right. were in, Star Ocello, where, you know, as a suburban kid growing up in a pretty narrowly defined cultural uh, community, um, actually being able to perform to a, a culturally diverse audience who really dug this music that was not part of their culture. Right. So that directed right. that 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 exchange for me was crucial and mm -hmm. and was the first that first experience where I said, oh, this is something not only that I can participate in, but there is actually there are people that really appreciate music that that they didn't grow up. And that's uh, that's really knowing, and that's really a, that's that a Toronto really thing that there's a there's a uh, hunger for that kind of uh, for that kind of music. Yeah. And as you mentioned, Alan Davis, it takes me to how many times we've had uh, the opportunity to play at um, small. small World or the Small World music projects that are the co-pros that they've done mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. all kinds of fun. Um, yeah, yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. And um, I didn't go to university when you. Well, I might have gone. Yeah, because you're a baby. Yeah. You're a baby. You're younger. <laughs> but uh, for me. Um, moving to Toronto and meeting musicians through Arabic singing classes and there there was yeah, also like this, yeah and there was <laughs> also yeah I met you there and also there was a program called Worlds of Music Toronto where I, I oh, got to oh, take right. Bulgarian yeah. singing lessons, Indian singing lessons, like George Sawa I got to mm -hmm. do the Arabic singing lessons. Yeah. So that was my introduction to people in this province who were in, just interested in different music that mm -hmm. was not necessarily from their own culture and then of course um, all the festivals that you mentioned and um, I think that the song that we picked which uh, is a song that Turquoise does, Al Kalili Yasuh, which is about uh, 
it's just beautiful nature images, the mountains and the rivers and the streams and uh, things like that, the clouds. Um, that presentation that we did was for another organization called So Far Sounds, right. where the audience, again, was just an audience who, they didn't even know who That's they were right. going to see, yeah. right. but they were just hungry for something different and a surprise. And, uh, and, yeah. and it, I love that we did it in the middle of winter, and uh, here we are in this cozy little room with this audience who doesn't know who they are. What we're gonna sing, and they're just so appreciative of this Sufi devotional love song from Egypt. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah and it's a song we learned in the eighties, <laughs> yeah. a really long time ago. But yeah. but songs that uh, sort of stay with us uh, are are kind of our that's our inspiration, and yeah. we use those together and and also. Find um, ways. The people we met, like the people we met at festivals and the people we met in classes in different kinds of music classes here in Toronto, they were incredibly inspirational too. And we've been able to collaborate with a lot of them and make projects with them. And uh, so, yeah, Ontario is a lovely place to be. <laughs> <laughs> and I think what's nice now is as we go out and go to you know different towns and different cities in Ontario that richness that like back in the 80s and early 90s that we experienced in Toronto we're starting to see that more in other places yeah. too mm -hmm. I mean not, it was probably already always there but festivals true. like Sunfest are doing such an important thing and um, you, you were mentioning the Ottawa stuff yes. as well like that it just it just keeps it coming it keeps it out there it yeah. keeps introducing things to people and i think it's really important yeah now all kinds of festivals so we've been in folk festivals but chamber fest is a classical music festival but they're incorporating different world musics and well or global musics whatever yeah. you want to call it <laughs> mm -hmm. that's yeah. true so should we let people listen to the tune yeah <laughs> hey thanks. please enjoy <laughs>